The Violet by Jane Taylor is a poem that celebrates the beauty of humility through the imagery of a simple flower. The poem tells the story of a violet that grows in a secluded and shaded part of a garden. Each stanza of the poem delicately paints a picture of the violet's humble existence and the quiet grace it exudes. By closely examining each line of the poem, we can uncover a deeper understanding of the poet's message about humility and contentment. Let me read the poem for you. The violet, down in a green and shady bed, a modest violet grew, its stalk was bent, it hung its head as if to hide from view. And yet it was a lovely flower, its colors bright and fair, it might have graced a rosy bower, instead of hiding there, yet there it was content to bloom in modest tints arrayed, and there diffused its sweet perfume within the silent shade. Then let me to the valley go, this pretty flower to see, that I may also learn to grow. In Sweet Humility The poem begins by setting the scene in a green and shady bed, where the modest violet grows. This location is significant because it emphasizes the secluded and humble nature of the violet. The flower is not in the spotlight, but rather in a quiet and hidden place. The use of the word modest to describe the violet underscores its unassuming nature. It is not seeking attention or admiration, but simply existing in its natural environment. As the poem continues, Taylor describes the physical appearance of the violet. Its stalk is bent, and it hangs its head as if to hide from view. This imagery conveys a sense of shyness or reluctance to be noticed. The violet's posture suggests that it is intentionally avoiding the spotlight, reinforcing the theme of humility. Despite its attempt to remain unseen, the violet is described as a lovely flower with colors bright and fair. Here, Taylor acknowledges the violet's inherent beauty, which is not diminished by its modesty. In fact, its beauty is enhanced by its humble demeanor. The poem then contrasts the violet's current location with what could have been. Taylor writes that the violet might have graced a rosy bower, suggesting that it could have been the centerpiece of a beautiful garden. However, the violet chose to remain in its modest spot, content to bloom in its quiet corner. This choice reflects a sense of contentment and acceptance of one's place in the world. The violet is not striving for recognition or grandeur, it is happy to exist as it is. In the final stanza, the poet reflects on the lesson that can be learned from the violet. The speaker expresses a desire to go to the valley to see the violet and learn from its example. By observing the violet's quiet beauty and humility, the speaker hopes to cultivate the same virtues in their own life. The poem concludes with the speaker's aspiration to grow in sweet humility, mirroring the violet's modest and graceful existence. Through the violet, Jane Taylor presents a powerful message about the value of humility and contentment. The poem's vivid imagery and gentle tone create a sense of peace and tranquility, inviting the reader to appreciate the simple beauty of the violet. By highlighting the flower's modesty and grace, Taylor encourages us to embrace these qualities in our own lives. The violet serves as a reminder that true beauty and worth are not found in seeking attention or recognition, but in quietly and contentedly being ourselves.